the building up there down at Stamford Bridge. Good luck to Huddersfield Town, and uh, I just have a feeling they can do it. Yeah, let's hope go so. Go Terriers, go. Yeah. Now, how does the song go? A paperback writer, do you remember that? Dear sir or madam, will you read my book? It took a year to write. Will you take a look? Can you sing the... it again? I don't think I'm No, I won't sing it again, but it's the Beatles, of course, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, and Jane Lovering, this lovely lady mm. here from Kirby Moorside, she deserves her own song, mm, she doesn't does. she, Harry? Because she's decided to make stacking shelves a part-time job and to take up writing. She's now won two awards for her books, and she gets her ideas from a local cafe. They're all about romance. Wonder what goes on in that cafe, eh? <laughs> There's more to this shop assistant than meets the eye. The clues in her name, Jane Lovering. While stacking shelves in Kirby Moorside, she's dreaming up romantic fiction. She knew about me now and I felt as if I'd darkened her life a bit, bringing the filth in from the outside. Like this little bit of Yorkshire with its big old house and big fields and trees, nearly as old as the horizon, had been all clean and shiny till I came in and now it was rusty and rotten. Well, this is the Penny Bank Cafe where Jane likes to do a lot of her writing in Kirby Moorside. In fact, she takes inspiration from all around this area. All my books are set, well, most of my books, shall I say, are set in Yorkshire, in or around Yorkshire, York, up on the moors, because it's just such a wonderful place to be. And plus, I can do research without leaving the house. There we go, Jane. Americano oh. with cold milk. <laughs> or even the cafe. Jane began writing 10 years ago. The latest book, Little Tea Shop of Horrors, refers to a house very similar to Nunnington Hall and a birds of prey centre just like the one at Duncan Park. It's a formula that's working because her book, Christmas at the Little Village School, has just won Love Story of the Year. She puts the success down to real life characters. If pretty people fall in love, then why should we care? Most people aren't totally beautiful millionaires. So it's about real people who struggle to pay the rent, get holes in their shoes, fall over in mud. The cafe ambiance keeps ideas flowing and stops her from shopping online. We don't give Jane the internet password here. It stops her going on and getting distracted on the surf of the internet when she should be cracking on and creating some more fabulous novels. Jane spends her work life thinking up happy endings, even when serving customers proof that you never know what people are thinking. Beautiful, brave Amy with her skin like buttercream and those eyes that were always half smiling even when she wasn't and me. We were like a family. Heidi Tomlinson, BBC Look North, Kirby Moorside. Oh, I do.